The internet has many mysteries such as Cicada 3301, Paranoia.com, Unexplained Events, and many more that can vary from video games, websites, and even videos meant for children. One of the more popular ones being Don't Hug Me I'm Scared, the channel portrayed itself as a friendly show for children but soon turned into a bloodbath of a watch. Now many people have already delved into these mysteries, but I found myself scrolling through YouTube and discovering a channel by the name of Gooby. Now by how this channel looks like from a glance, you'd imagine it's a children's show about teaching you the basics of numbers, letters, and the truth about the ever-growing entity that will eventually grow into a human nightmare. So let's learn about not judging a book by its cover and maybe finding some sort of story behind the YouTube channel, Gooby. Now, we're already here, so let's check out the videos by order. The first video is about learning numbers from 1 to 10. We're shown off simple with an intro to the show with a retro-like theme. Gooby is then shown to be the host of the show, also being a yellow... bean thing. He quickly gets to the introduction of counting from 1 to 10 and does so very smoothly. This is number 2. It comes after 1. Finishing his count, he asks if we want to see his favorite number. Assuming we do, he pulls out a credit card. Wanting to name it, his voice suddenly takes a worse turn. Credit card. In that voice, he prompts the viewer to give out the credit card information and gives us a nice farewell after doing so. Bye. The video ends in a disrupted outro, but despite this, it seems like it's all just a joke or a dark twist on educational content for now. We're off to the second video, which is about learning letters from A to Z. It starts in a very similar way like the previous one, besides Gooby having flashbacks for a second. And in Gooby-like fashion, he tells us all the letters of the English alphabet. Continuing, he notifies us about letters being able to spell words, such as his favorite two. And the audio yet again becomes dark and glitchy with sounds of a screaming child, and did you, did you notice that? We had frames of what seems to be a missing child poster, and an image of what seems to be a child sitting. The video yet again ends with a firewall and disrupted outro, including another frame of the missing child poster. Now let's take a look back to the images in the frame. We first have the image of a girl sitting, and the following image on the missing poster of Michaela Aikens. Now I've tried my best to find if this would be a true case, which it doesn't seem to be, at least not to my knowledge. But from the images themselves, we can't depict much besides the name of the missing child, and what I can only assume to be an image of the child herself, sitting down and staring forwards. And there is for sure a story to be found, but we need to dig a little bit deeper. On to video 3. Video 3 seems to be all about the colors of the rainbow. The intro is different this time around as we have a bit of what seems like corrupt footage, but nothing more than that. Now right off the start, Gooby's voice is extremely distorted, to the point where we have to use the given subtitles to understand anything he's saying. He starts off with naming colors and giving them an example. The color blue for the sky, orange for an orange, green for a leaf, purple for... a bruise? Continuing, he gets to his favorite color, which seems to be red, mentioning the color completely corrupts the video along with the subtitles. The color red is compared to blood, and the video is now glitching out as we receive another missing child poster. Now, this isn't Michaela Aikens from the previous video, but what seems to be a new child, and along with the poster comes an encrypted message, which using the polybias squared cipher decoder, the message comes out to be, Hey kids, Gooby here, today we're going to learn about Andrew. The video continues glitching out, and at 1.17, we get another sneak of many images at once. The two most important ones that pop up are a similar style of image, where a kid is sitting and facing the frame, and the full missing poster of Andrew Connor. Now next to the poster, we're also giving a disturbing image of what I can assume by the color and shape to be... Gooby. 
Now Gobi in his corrupted voice gives us his farewell like always and we get a buggy outro but that isn't all for this video. Another file starts playing which seems to be The Munchers of Fable from the year 1973 which is an animation about teeth being deceived by a dark figure Mean Jack Sweet. Deceiving teeth by giving them sweets which in actuality hurts them one of the teeth consults a wise tooth about it, where he explains they should eat healthier and the sweets are bad. The tooth goes to confront Mean Jack Sweet, and after declining his snacks, he gets attacked. In the end, the old tooth saves him with toothpaste and whatever, but that isn't important anymore. The part that was played in Gooby's video is the part of the tooth declining snacks and in return, being hurt. Up until this point, we have Michaela Aikens and Andrew Connor, the missing children and images of them both sitting down. From the images, it actually seems like they're sitting in front of some sort of screen. The encrypted message also says, Hey kids, Gooby here. Today we're going to learn about Andrew. And now, going by the lead of this video, the color red, also known as the color of blood, is Gooby's trigger word. At the end, we also get a video about something being declined and that resulting in the tooth being hurt. I'll be continuing this with the assumption that Andrew was offered something by Gooby, declined it, but that ended up in a bad manner for him. Now, another thing to mention for now is that Gooby may be also also working as a TV show or channel to contact these children through, seeming as the kids are always watching something through some sort of screen. But let's continue, we still have much to uncover. We're off to video 4, which actually starts nor... Yeah, the intro is normal, Gooby isn't anymore. Not saying he ever was, but now with the SAMTTS, he starts us off on learning about shapes. Goes through the usual triangle, square, circle, rectangle, oval, plastic. a plastic lid. A bit random, but let's continue. Plastic spoon, car battery, broken light bulb, rotten egg, broken dish, and a. We're here again with another missing kid. The screen flashes multiple images, so we'll go through the more important ones. Which all of them points towards Sophia Anthony, yet another missing child. Gooby like before continues naming things like used razor, toenail clipping, saying he loves shapes and... Let me just go through them really quickly. We get multiple images of this distorted or at least alternative version of what I assume to be Gooby. Repeating images of the missing children, images that include text such as do not look into his eyes, do not listen to what he says, do not trust him, and he lies. The quotes am appeared to us a burning bush and said we could kill the hurricane bird from the book I have no mouth and I must scream. Unrecognizable images of some sort of alley or building. Encrypted messages with the first one being Panic surged through the children. Their screams drowned out by the cacophony of his chilling melody. Their hope for escape dwindling in the face of an insurmountable horror that seemed to have taken on a life of its own. From that point on, all of that repeats with some images being more corrupt than the others. Now, continuing the missing children theme, we add Sophia Anthony to the list. We also get more information about these kids like the ages and what they were right before their disappearances. All of these kids also don't have much information given about the way they were kidnapped, besides with Sophia where she was last seen in her father's home and that there seems to be no suspect. So Gooby somehow kidnapped these kids, but how? While well, Sophia was last seen in her father's home, meaning Guppy, just like with the others, kidnapped her without actually touching her, meaning Gooby probably isn't a physical entity but more of like a program. Now we also get information about where these kids are from, Sophia being from Sacramento, California, Andrew Connor being from Bravo in Utah, and Michaela Aikens from Boise in Idaho. We also got the dates and all that we can really do with that information is that they're happening in the United States and around the same time, dates being December 7th, 11th and 17th, all a day after or within the date of Gooby's first three posts. With that, we could also go off the assumption that every time a new video is made, Gooby has kidnapped another kid, but we'll leave that for later. We also get the quote, Am appeared to us a burning bush and said we could kill the hurricane bird if we wanted to eat. From the book, I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream by Harlan Ellison. The book is about the relationship between humanity and machinery. Not including all the repeating images that should cover that. It finishes up with an unknown video and the music, Meditation by the Boston Promenade Orchestra. That is a whole lot of information to take in. And we have one more video to check out, so let's get to it and we'll see what we're working with. Hello. 
The intro of video 5 is yet again buggy with another series of flashing images from which we can decipher much but an image of pigs in someone's hair. Following that is a black screen where a man's groaning can be heard and it transitions us back to the fourth video of Gooby's About Shapes. Right before the images flash but this time Gooby continues normally. He wants to tell us his favorite shape but gets interrupted by a child answering for him, my favorite shape is a circle. Gooby disappears for a few seconds, returning back with yet another glitch, where we have the text scrambled up. From the first text we can get, only speak when spoken to. After a short moment of that it cuts to a text saying, I find myself consumed by thoughts of him, his antics playing out vividly in my mind's eye. The name conjured images of laughter and joy, of innocence and wonder. It was the embodiment of childhood itself, a beacon of light in a world grown dark with cynicism and doubt. He returns back to his normal self, changing topics from shapes to animals. He talks about cats, dogs, cows and pigs. Right before naming the pig, he again gets interrupted by the same childlike voice. And this is a pig. It causes him again to disappear, coming back in similar fashion with the subtitles this time scrambling out. Listen to what I tell you, pig. We cut to a long text reading He was a manifestation of my own desires and aspirations, a being that willed itself into existence by planting seeds of creativity in the fertile soul of my mind. Deep down, I know that he's the one pulling the strings, weaving himself into the fabric of my reality until I can't remember a time when he wasn't a part of me. Gooby comes back slightly distorted, saying his favorite animal being a person, which seems to trigger him in the wrong way. Call the egg. He again goes back to his old fashioned image showing as we receive yet another missing child poster. A new kid yet again Abby Lang after we also get the remarks of her disappearance reading Last seen in her home on January 3rd 2024 wearing a set of pink pajamas. The text also talks about her watching television before a loud hum. He follows up by stating people are animals too and for the third time the same child tells Gooby we are not animals. You're not animals. Which sets him off once again with the subtitles reading all animals have teeth. That also brings up more images, one of them being a man with his eyes black line crossed. And for the final time we get a text saying I was merely a vessel, a conduit through which his enigmatic being willed itself into existence. And in the audio we can hear any little girl that's a nice little girl by Ada Jones with some man groaning in the background. It leads us to the very end of the video with a black screen and the noise of a door opening. And there we have it, all of Gooby's educational videos up until this point. Okay, so one little issue, it's post-editing Bob here, I've already finished the entire script and I was ready to get actually into the editing of the video. He uploaded a new 5 minute video. God fuck! Now going on to video 6, there's a normal intro although the audio seems a bit scuffed and where's Gooby? So starting off we have the subtitles made of some random characters and the description too containing a list of numbers. Now the following scrambles are given to us through the description as some characters are toned down more than the others and we come up with the following. Which leaves us for the starting link of a YouTube video. So from this point on we can safely say it's a YouTube link. Well, the rest of the video we need to also find the following characters that create the link to a YouTube video. The description gives us these numbers which using multiple decoders I couldn't get anything with. And if watching the video closely too you can see some more random characters pop up for a second. Now with that we can't really do much. I tried entering them in besides the YouTube link but that didn't work. Now I got stuck for a second at this point and couldn't get anywhere, but paying a bit more attention I arranged the letters in the order that the numbers from the description gave us and I got this YouTube link. And that link leads us to a hidden Gooby video, which has the most content we've gathered up until this point. <sighs> Let's get into it. Oh, 
The video starts off with a warning for epilepsy, right after is our normal Gooby intro then starting off strong with glitching images and a completely corrupt 2 minutes and 24 seconds video. Unpacking all of the images most leads to missing children with a new edition of James Bennett from Cheyenne, Wyoming and we also learn that Abby Lang is from Tucson, Arizona, leaving us to believe that Gooby is operating in the US and the US only. We also get additional text on the regards about the missing reports where we can depict that all of the kids went missing in their home. We also learn that Michaela, the first missing child, was searching for her grandmother's credit card while watching TV. There was also no forced entry and it was a sudden disappearance. There are many more images of the missing children, quotes from the previous videos, a person in a suit, images of pigs, but what caught my eye the most were the encrypted messages, the images that showcase a sort of birth the subtitles and images of unknown places. So the encrypted messages are like the ones we've had before, but they come out with Where are we? asked Sophia. We're in a beautiful meadow, whispered Michaela. This is not a meadow, responded Sophia. The second message being Hello Kashua, come play with Gooby. We also get a sinister smile stretch across his face as he beckoned to them, the melody growing louder and more dissonant. We also get the many subtitles with random words, so let's combine the uppercase letters from these words, which comes out to Ideas are birthed from the mind, he let me in and through him I let myself out. The larger pigs have less teeth, the smaller pigs have more to grow. How I feast upon the teeth, how I feast upon the teeth, how I feast upon the teeth. The video also ends with a voice saying It's because of their large and complex brains that mammals are able to pass survival information from generation to generation through learning. And the mammals with the most exceptional learning ability are the primates, monkeys, apes, and human beings. So let's use our complex brains and see what we've gathered so far. Alright, so going over everything we've gathered, Gooby is from the texts in video 5 and 7, which seems to be an entity that took over someone who was being used as a vessel. Now, this entity is in the shape of a friendly yellow-like character that is only portrayed to be kind and harmless, but in truth, is much worse of a being. He also seems to have trigger words like person, red, which was indicated for being the color of blood, little girl, and many more. He uses television or some sort of screen to influence and get the kids' attentions by using a fake persona, the same kind we see on his channel. When these kids get within his reach, he reveals his true self and takes them, just like the deciphered message in video 7, where he kidnaps or takes them into his own world, seeing as the kids disappear randomly without any suspects being found or any break-ins being noticed. He can also alter the children's thinking or vision, like stated in video 7, that also shows a conversation between the two missing children, but each is seeing something different. Now each time he does so a new video comes out, just like for each time a kid got kidnapped, or the missing reports came out, is when a new video of his was published. Seeing as Michaela was the first victim, she was also found looking for her grandmother's credit card and relating that to Gooby's first video, where he is asking for the credentials of one. Now what he wants to do with these kids is unclear. We have some clues that Andrew and Michaela may have been trying to escape from him or fight against Gooby, but that may have ended in a bad way. We saw Michaela in video 5 interrupting and denying Gooby's statements. My favorite kid is a circle which definitely set him off. Now Andrew may have also tried working against him by warning us in video 4 where the subtitles say do not look into his eyes, do not listen to what he says, do not trust him, and he lies. Now how do I know that those are Andrew and Michaela and not some other kids? It's set to us in video 7 where the children are posted on popsicles and Michaela and Andrew seem to be highlighted with the munchers of Fable playing besides. That could be a warning from the children and how they got brought into this or it could also also be Gooby's other self. Now, we said that Gooby is an entity, but used a vessel and just like in the video 5 and 7 text, it could be this entity is just slowly taking over a person who we aren't fully aware of yet, and he's just trying to prevent it to help us help him. Now, in one of the flashing images of video 4 and 7, we also have a normal man in a suit whose eyes are censored. That normally indicates the attempt of hiding someone's identity, which could be the case for Gooby trying to cover this person's identity completely, so he himself forgets who he is and we can't find him either. 
It's also leaning towards that with the kids as the missing poster of James Bennett has a hidden sentence at the very bottom reading, they will soon forget your name, just as they do with the others. Now while Gooby is taking over this person, it seems like he also wants to be reborn as a whole. His point in video 7 is shown very strongly. He very vividly shows many images that points towards birth, which could lead to him using the children in a way to be reborn as some sort of new entity. The quote from the book, I have no mouth and I must scream in video 4, and the book being about machines having authority over humans, seems like that's what could be Gooby's end goal. We don't know if that's completely true, but we'll still have to wait and see. We can also say Gooby goes only after children because their minds are a lot weaker and easier to manipulate than the ones of a full-grown adult. Also because they seem to have more potential in some aspects. Just like the video 7 encrypted text reads, The larger pigs have less teeth, the smaller pigs have more to grow. We also have some encrypted messages such as, Hello Kashua, come play with Gooby, which could indicate to the kidnapping of a new child by the name of Kashua or what I'll assume to be Joshua. Of course, Gooby also clearly has a distinct hate or belittlement of humans seeing how he portrays us as animals. But in the end, what's Gooby's end goal? Like, where are the kids being kept and what is Gooby really capable of? We'll have to wait. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, like and subscribe for maybe a follow-up when Gooby uploads once again. But all of this was just a theory. A game thi- no, I'm not- I'm not doing that, I'm really sorry. But I do wish you a great rest of your day.